Hello, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my van that I live in. And to start with is my stove. It's just a little camping stove. It's got, you know, two burners, got a tiny little oven. It's kind of adorable. I love it. Uh, immediately above it, ventilation fan, which is also useful as a, a hood for when you're cooking and you don't want all the smoke to stay in. Uh, cool thing about the ventilation fan, um, I have not one, but two remote controls. So you can just, uh, you know, increase the speed. Handy dandy. You can reverse this direction, which I'm not going to do. Uh, it's got a rain hood. So there's a hood that just goes on top of it that can open up, close when you're not using it, open air comes through, and it means you can have the fan going while it's raining and still have ventilation. It's great. Uh, it's pretty much a necessity because you don't want condensation. Uh, you do not want wet air <laughs> in the van. Not a good time. Uh, moving over, we get the sink. This is just, uh, I don't know, caravan sink. It's got a caravan motorhome pump tap thing underneath. I've got a fresh water um, dairy can and a grey water one. You can just refill and empty those often. Uh, moving over, it's my Dometic Waco CFX uh, 95DZW. It's a very large fridge freezer combo majig. Mostly I've just got water in here and some milk um, because uh, I don't have a lot to store in the fridge right now, but having lots of water in there means there's a lot of thermal mass, so it doesn't take as much energy for the fridge to stay cool because there's just so much cold already in the stuff that's in there. And similarly in the freezer, it's bottles that are just ice. If I am storing stuff in the freezer, it's usually dumplings. Oi. Might occasionally have some ice cubes in there, or ice cream, sorbet, oh, love me some sorbet. Uh, underneath the fridge, there's more kitchen stuff. Uh, above this, this, this is my favorite part. Hand painted by one of my good friends, it's the pantry cupboard. You got breakfast, cooking stuff, uh, pasta and whatnot. Got my wok, that was a birthday present from my parents. That was really nice. Uh, my rubbish bin is literally just this bag that I keep up with some hooks. Got a recycling bin over there. And let's transition over to my bed. This is just a double bed that I got from Ikea. Like it's just a standard Australian sized double bed. The bed frame that it sits on was just a flat pack one I got off the internet. And it's only just small enough to fit. Like we only had a few mil to spare. Uh, it, it was tight, but it's great. It means I can have just a standard double bed permanently set up in my van. It's wonderful. And um, speaking of down here, the all important carbon monoxide detector, just so I don't die of um, uh, gas, <laughs> gas that you can't smell, gas that you can't see, and um, uh, it'll, it'll just kill you. Best not to be dead. Um, down there's like bag, shoes, clothing. I don't have very much clothing. I, I don't I don't have very much variety. I don't have much of a fashion sense. I own like two pairs of shorts and the same shirt five times. Um, there's clothes that I wear less often and there's miscellaneous stuff. Drawers full of all sorts of things. Uh, dirty clothes basket. That's the inverter. That converts battery power to regular house power, which is handy for charging camera batteries and whatnot. Uh, also the uh, charge controller, which converts uh, solar electricity into battery electricity. There is a solar panel, you know, up there uh, being held on by some bolts. Uh, let's join me on the bed as we take a look around from here. Um, we've got lights. This is sort of my main light strip. It's just some LEDs that a friend gave me. Uh, turn them off. Got some really nice ambiance with the with the fairy lights. Kind of pretty. Haphazardly put up there, but 
I think they're nice. Got a little personal fan for when it gets too hot to sleep. It's usually pretty fine, but you know, uh, having something, a breeze on my face is kind of nice during the summer. And I have all these instruments. It's, uh, it's like my flute melodica, they call it a Suzuki Andes. Bass melodica, glockenspiel, that's a plot dulcimer thing. Um, another melodica. Uh, under this bed, because this bed is, you know, quite sizable, there is a lot of storage under here. Like, I have this fairly high up. So I've got like a large container of board games, a bicycle, uh, an accordion, a djembe, another very large container that has a chemical toilet that I hope to never use. Uh, yeah, not much else. Got, you know, clothing just in case I ever want to wear red or some black pants or a lab coat. You know how it is. And that's about it. The van isn't very large. There's not all that much to show off, but I hope it was somewhat interesting. Maybe give you some inspiration if you were thinking of doing van life. It's really, my van's not all that complicated and I'm very happy. I have all this space. Like, I, I can play VR in here. I have played VR in here. It's good fun. You know, you have like an Oculus Quest standalone thing. It's a good time. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.